Welcome to Spain. Dragon, a king class, closes the 2019 season in one of the most spectacular sailing locations in the world. Palma Bay in Mallorca and the Club de Regatas Puerto Portals was the perfect spot for the fourth and final event of the Dragon European Cup circuit. Following the Grand Prix in Cannes, Cascais and Kuchlungsborn, this year's series was concluded in this sailing mecca and the sailors had only the best to say about the 2019 series. This Grand Prix series is a big success. This year is no difference. Uh, so strong competition, good sailing venues, very good attendance. So we are very happy with the series so far. Dragon class is no ordinary class for the athletes, professionals or Corinthians. It is a way of life and all those who participate have a special connection with their boats. My whole life is around the Dragon class, you know. Um, I've been sailing Dragons uh, for 25 years now and I know um, everybody in the class, uh, all my friends are Dragon sailors. When we are in the water we are racing against each other but when we go back to the shore the relationships are really healthy and uh, I think uh, the Dragon class will last another 90 years, uh, if not more. One thing that makes this particular class stand out is that it is open to Corinthians, so it's a family-friendly event. Here, a family can participate and get the full, unique experience of being able to spend time together. In Palma, it was the Dosse family that participated and shared some unforgettable sailing moments. Well, I made the beginning with family sailing on Lake Ulster. Later on, uh, my sons helmed a dragon by themselves. And from time to time we sail together, like here for example. And therefore it is very fine to sail with my son here and with my wife and my friend. And uh, some weeks ago he steered and I was crewing and therefore it was also very funny. He was at the helm, I make the tacticians. This year was a milestone series since the class saw a lot of new members join and participate in the regatta and still draws young sailor fans to this day. But the best is yet to come. Sailing a dragon boat is quite an interesting experience for me anyway. Obviously the quality of the sailing is really great. You know, this, it's awesome to line up against some really famous names and, uh, you know, have a have really close racing out there. I think young sailors should join the Dragon class because it's such a uh, unique experience with the amount of boats in the fleet, the uh, quality of racing and also the closeness of racing. It's pretty unique in, the fact, in all those things. The Dragon class is such a great class. I really have fun sailing with so many great sailors. 41 teams from 12 countries gathered on the start line of the Dragon Grand Prix Spain 2019. The first two days took place under swift windy conditions and all participants did their best in order to make the fastest race in the fleet. Within its long history, dragon sailing has continued to evolve over the years, managing to combine the classic with the modern. In Parma, we met sailor Tim Tavernor, who is one of the best dragon boat builders in the world. Uh, the original boats were very simple, but over the years, you know, new uh, new innovations on rope technology block, new designs on systems have become commonplace and uh, enable the boat to be sailed uh, in a very civilised way. And when I say civilised, I mean not winches and uh, everything works very easily. The fit out of the boat and the systems on the boat are very comparable to many modern boats that would be designed today. I mean, if a new boat was to be designed today, a lot of the systems on the Dragon would be similar to systems on new boats. During the third day of the Grand Prix, the rain had cleared, the wind began to fill in from the northeast, and the only race of the day started with around 10 knots. With a total of five Dragon Grand Prix Spain races completed, the Dutch team aboard Troika, skippered by Pierta Hirema, had the overall lead. The strong winds on the final day kept the fleet ashore, and as a result, Troika were confirmed as the winners of the Dragon Grand Prix Spain. 
I'm uh, I'm very happy uh, with my team to uh, to win this event. It's uh, it's an important event, the last event of the of the year, uh, and uh, we've been we've been close uh, close other events, but this one we finally win, so we're super happy. Remarkably, after 24 races sailed over four regattas, two teams were tied on equal points for the series. But once the tiebreaker system had been applied, the winner of the 2019 Dragon Grand Prix series was confirmed as Dimitri Samokin and the Rock and Roll team, who received the spectacular new Stand Fast Trophy. Well, we are, of course, very happy to win this series because it has been a long season for Grand Prix all over Europe. The competition was, as usual in the Dragon, very strong. So we had a bit of luck and uh, also we, we were able to do what we want, what we can. And so we won, yes, so we're happy. This year marked the end of an era for Dragon Class, since Vasily Senatorov is no longer the chairman of the class, with Jens Rathsack now stepping up into the position. But the class will remain a family and will continue to do their best. After eight years serving for the Dragon Class, that was a big honor and a big responsibility. I am very glad to leave the class now because I believe the majority of the tasks that have to be fulfilled for the class, they are done. The composition of the new boat is a very good one. There are very good and experienced sailors. There is the young generation as Eustace, but with big roots from the Dragon. Now, first of all, as new vice chairman to the International Dragon Association, um, I really have to thank uh, Vasily and, um, and the previous board, uh, who've done an excellent job in um, promoting the class further. And uh, when I mean promotion, I mean promotion for, for every Dragon Sailor, the Corinthians, uh, the club sailors, and um, the more professionalized competitors in the class. And I think this is a very good base to start from uh, Vasily. This is our vision for the future. Keep professional level up and invite even more sailors uh, from all works of life. What I really like about sailing is that we have so many different nationalities. We have so many different age groups here as well. More and more young sailors are here, so we're a, we're a very good crowd already, and we invite young sailors to join us. The following two days brought something new to see in the class. Raced over two days, this champion of champions decider featured a knockout format, beginning with a qualifying series. On the opening day, the four qualifying fleet races saw 10 teams move forward into the final day of competition. The race format today is we have 19 boats. After today, uh, nine boats are eliminated. 10 boats go through to tomorrow. Out of those 10, eight position from three to 10 will race in the quarterfinals. After the quarterfinals, three more boats go out. So five boats remain, and whoever was second the day before in the semi-final now joins those five. So then six race. And after those six have raced, three go out again, and the final is then between the winner of uh, today's racing plus those three. So four boats race the final. On the final day, after an intense battle on the Bay of Palma, it was Hugo Stenbeck's Sophie Racing, helmed by Bernardo Fritas, who made it to win the Dragon Grand Prix European Cup Finals. I think it's very good fun. It's a lot of fun. You do more races. Uh, this knockout uh, series are very interesting. Uh, it's, there's always a chance to perform. And uh, we went out yesterday. It took us a while to get up to speed. And fortunately, we made we managed to go through. And today we just uh, we just took no no risks. Try to sail very consistent. Don't put pressure on anything. Just sail and see how it is. And then we came to the finals, and I think we performed really well. Uh, Martin and Lars did an, did an amazing job, and uh, we won. Ashore, the fleet gathered to honor their champions. First, Sweden's Martin Palsson was crowned Corinthian champions, while Bernardo Fritas stepped forward to loud applause to receive the spectacular new Dragon Grand Prix European Cup Finals trophy, created by renowned Finnish sculptor and dragon sailor Sami Salomar. <laughs> 